Up, down, up, down, up, down is the way Manchester United's form has been recently. And that's not the way you want your favorite team, your preferred team for over 20 years to go. Uh, But what can we say? Setting thousands of miles away. It's not much we can do about the form and about the things that Eric Ten Hag and his team do. But it remains to be seen what we managed to pull off tonight against Galatasaray in the Champions League. Of course, we lost heartbreakingly to Bayern Munich, our old rivals, and the ones who we defeated in that famous 1999 treble winning season, which I had the opportunity of revisiting on the Champions League website. And it, I must say, <laughs> it evoked a lot of nostalgia for me uh, because I was a kid back then and um, of course we couldn't see. I mean, Champions League was something that was very far off uh, from our hilltop in the Lawrence School Sonar. Uh, but we did read about it in the papers the next to next day. And uh, we found out that Beckham and his team had won the coveted Champions League. So I guess... Uh, It started with David Beckham, uh, my fascination with Manchester United. And I became a full-fledged Red Devil after I read up on their history and everything after that treble winning year. And of course, in a very nice spiral, Sir Alex Ferguson, the most amazing football manager ever. He wrote an autobiography which was titled Never Give In. And that's the motto of my alma mater, the Lawrence School Sanar, right here. As you can see, there is a Manchester United badge right here as well. It's got a little bit of a reflection on it, of the shine. But full power 24 hour is what I will be hoping for tonight. Uh, Galatasaray. All right. So coming to the most important piece of history or uh, I would say recent form that just goes to show how weakened we have become. And Old Trafford, which has been our fortress for a long time, unfortunately, Brighton, Hove, Albion. Brighton and Hope Albion, uh, they broke that streak of uh, un- being undefeated at Old Trafford, the theatre of dreams, a few weeks ago. What can I say? Like I said in the beginning, it's in the doldrums. And uh, as fans, as football fanatics, we have to stick with our team through thick and thin. Unless you are one of those bandwagon jumpers who just uh, hop on from one team to the other if it's performing well and start throwing banter at other teams. But, uh, you know, everybody's got their own opinion. Everybody's free to live their own life. And the past is history. The future is a mystery. With that, let me give you a little bit of piece of history and trivia about Manchester United versus Galatasaray. And the most important thing, like I said, is the recent Champions League form of Manchester United. So, chew on this stat. Manchester United have lost six of their last 13 UEFA Champions League matches at Old Trafford, winning five and drawing two. As many defeats as they suffered across their previous 80 matches there in the competition, winning 57 and drawing 17. Imagine that. I mean, it just goes to show that after Sir Alex Ferguson are wanted, are heavily, uh, you know, Much accomplished image has been tarnished and, uh, well, Jose Mourinho did quite a good job getting us uh, Europa League as a, you know, sort of a consolation prize. (laughs) Uh, But speaking of consolation prizes, uh, actually, no, it's not decided yet. But uh, I'm guessing, I'm just trying to predict the future peppered with hazard as that (laughs) endeavor is. Uh, that we might miss out on the Asiat Games gold because the other six teams, I won't say all six of the other teams are uh, a threat, but you never know. T20 is a very uh, unpredictable format. But like life, sports are unpredictable. I was talking about India at the Asiat Games, Asian Games, by the way, at the Asiad, as we used to say when I was a kid. But a huge shout out to Hitman N. To KB, who I don't see often anymore, Karnataka, bro, where art thou? And to Jacob Rodriguez, all the way in Dallas, Texas, and to Sachi, and to all of you fellow football fanatics, 
Make sure you share your thoughts about Manchester United in the comments below. What do you think will happen in the Galatasaray match? Hopefully, we will win and keep our hopes of getting to the next round alive because Copenhagen and uh, Galatasaray drew. So, they have one point each. We have zero points, of course, after that defeat to Bayern. And uh, Crystal Palace, we won 3-0 and then we lost 1-0. So, that was a very, uh, you know, disappointing result. But uh, now we are used to it. Oh, and a huge shout out to Appy G, my bro from another Mo, who got me this uh, David May signed cap uh, way back uh, quite a few years ago. I think uh, half a dozen years ago. But uh, I just sometimes feel like, you know, pulling this down and just shying away from watching Manchester United's matches. Okay. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. I have a slack okay that's in the general channel so i guess i can look at it in another minute and in that minute i would like to uh, request you all to watch my other manchester united and footballing videos i support odisha fc who are doing well doing okay in the indian super league but uh, unfortunately have lost two games in the afc cup so that kind of uh, eliminates any chances of us getting into the next round but there's always next season uh uh, what else? The Indian cricket team is going to be participating in the World Cup uh, from this Sunday onwards. So check out my cricketing, cricketing videos as well if you're like that, uh, if you like that. And check out my shorts, my raps, rhymes. Just go through my channel and have awesome acts fun. Smash that sub button. Thank you so much for watching. Namaste to all my 1000 plus subscribers. I owe a lot to you guys for motivating me to carry on. And of course, Advitya, my little daughter is uh you know her vlog her uh, childhood is shaping up really well as part of my vlog which is the ultimate aim to let her uh experience vicariously what she was experiencing when she was growing up on that note thank you so much for watching and uh, namaskar take care stay safe